Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Here guys, I have the Eco Worthy and this is the MPPT charge controller. And of course, this one is from Eco Worthy. This is their um, 40 amp um, charge controller, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, I have a full run through of this on here. Now, of course, this is set up. This is a guide to show you how to set up this and also how to disconnect um, your devices all right so if you're setting this, this up for the first time you can use this guide or if you're in a case where you want to disconnect the connections all right you can use this guide for both please note that if you are going to work on your system it is best to disconnect um, the solar panels and the battery before you work on the battery so at no time it is not recommended that you have this connected without a battery attached so make sure the first thing you attach to this is your battery and of course if you're working on it this system make sure that the first thing that you disconnect is your battery all right you do not want this to be connected and of course power is being sent to this from your solar panels and there's no battery it will damage the charge controller according to the manufacturer all right so here i have this and i'm going to show you how to connect it up and I'm going to show you to re, uh, remove the connections as well. Now check this out. This is the front. If you look a little bit down to this section here, I have connected right here. First, these two thicker wires to the first two terminals. I'll show you them in a minute. Uh, you have the positive from your solar panel. And you have the um, negative from the solar panel. And of course, this two here, which is, uh, do forgive the background um, stuff. So I'll put my hand there. This brown is a positive and this blue here, which is the fourth wire, is a negative. So you have two that comes from your solar panels, two that goes to your batteries to charge your batteries. They are from brown, which is the first one, which is positive, and the second, which is um, blue, which is negative. There are two more terminals for load, but of course those are not normally connected unless you're connecting a load. If you look here, it is currently active it's showing you that we are getting 246 watts um, charge current we are getting is 17 point odd amps and of course battery voltage is fully charged at 14 which means the battery is way topped up the pv voltage is 17.1 volts all right so we're going to disconnect this to do that we'll have to flip it over all right so you can see here as well i have the mounting terminals connected all right, so I've turned this over, and here we have the terminals connected here to mount them on the wall. If you look down here, you'll see the back cover, and of course, it's on for safety. There's the grounding mount here. I'm going to remove um, these screws. And of course, to remove the screws is to gain access to the terminals. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up. Alright, so once it's fully open, what's going to happen is that you'll have access to tighten and loosen the screws that holds the terminals in place. Alright, so we're going to put these screws aside. Then we're going to remove the back um, panels as a piece of metal. Alright, so if you're looking here, remember that there's no reverse since we're at the back of the device. This is the positive from the solar panel. Let me just put my hand here. Positive from the solar panel. This is a negative, positive, negative. So positive and negative of the battery, positive and negative of the solar panels. Um, it's in reverse since I flipped it over, all right? So in this case here, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the solar panels so um, no charge goes to the batteries, all right? If you were setting up this the first time, the first thing you wanna do is to connect your batteries um, I have live PO4 batteries, so if it was the case, I would have connected first this positive, which is the blue, then the negative, right? So I'd connect these two first so that this would be powered up. So positive, negative, and then last, to send power to the batteries, I would connect the positive of the solar panels and the negative, all right? So in this case, I'm going to disconnect the, the um, solar panels 
I'm going to start with the positive to make sure that no more power goes to um, the batteries which are charging. All right, so I'm going to disconnect them here. Check it out. So I'm going to disconnect the batteries. So no power is going to the batteries. All right, so I've loosened it. All right, here you go. When you're connecting these for the first, they might spark. So notice here, this is disconnected. Make sure that you cover this so it doesn't cause a spark. I'm going to secure this. All right, next, I'm going to disconnect the um, negative. All right, so here we are. Um, in case you're wondering how deep to cut into the wire, this is um, maybe a half of an inch, a little bit above a half of an inch, not as long as an inch, but maybe a, a little above about a half of an inch in depth. All right, we're gonna put this aside. All right, now, if you check this out, the device should be still powered, but notice no amperage meaning nothing is coming from the panels and nothing is um, in terms of charge power so the battery is here at 13.4 volts it's only powering this right now and if your inverter is off all right should not be sending power to anything all right so now we're gonna um, disconnect the battery so nothing is going to the batteries now but the batteries are connected so i'm going to disconnect them now and this will power off and notice as well no led indicated charging all right, here, I'm going to start again. Brown is positive in this case. So I'm going to disconnect the brown wire. All right, so check out the brown wire here. So in this case, this brown wire is positive, and I'm going to secure this as well. You can uh, make sure that this doesn't make in contact with any metallic surfaces or any other um, negative terminal. All right, and the last terminal I'm going to connect here is I'm going to just go ahead and disconnect the negative here, which is blue. Here you go. So it's now fully disconnected. I've secured my wires and this thing is totally disconnected. So check it out. It's now totally um dead no power all right now in case you wanted to connect these just a quick reminder just remember before what the connections were where you would go if you check the terminals themselves here the um you loosen these screws they will fall down and then as soon as you tighten them they'll go up to clamp the wire you can always see what these terminals are um, as you can see here, this one is, if I'm seeing right, positive is always first, negative. And it does say PV, which is photovoltaic. I mean, from your solar panel, so PV positive, that's red. So the red would go here. So in that case, in case you have forgotten, if you're connecting this for the first time, start with red. I've placed just a piece of plastic over this to secure it. So... Start with red, PV, positive red. Next, you would have um, PV negative. PV negative is um, black from the solar panels. Here's black. I have it right here. And of course, it says after that, battery. And it says battery positive. Um, seeing that the wire standard has um, switched. Brown, if it was a different wiring, it would be red. But because I think this is European or Canadian standard or British standard, so therefore brown here would be positive and then PV negative. Blue, sorry, brown would be PV positive for the battery. And of course, um, here blue would be PV negative. All right. The other two ports to the end here, which is these two are the loads. In case you have a DC load, where it would say, um, like for example, a DC device like a pump, you'll connect positive, negative, and then you'd have to turn on the load on this to power a DC that uses DC current, direct current from a, um, 
from like a pump or water pump or so on. We do not use this here. So those two are not necessary. All right, so those are the terminals. You then tighten. It will push back up and tighten. You can do the tug test. Slightly tug to make sure that they are firm. All right, and that's how you do it. Once you're finished, you would, once the wires are on, you would get your back plate. Slide it back on. Always keep this secured. And of course, we would put, if you're putting this away in my case, I just secure these. And I will just tighten these on. One by one. Tighten the other. All right, that's two. There you go. That's your um, MPPT um, charge controller. So this is just the MPPT charge controller here. And that's how you set it up or disconnect it. Um, it's quite easy, especially for your setup. All right, so I'll end the tutorial here. Recorded from Blog Tech Tips. Bye until next time. Bye.